we actually got up really early this morning and we went out for breakfast and then we went to Walmart um, and did some grocery shopping. So since it's Sunday, um, we really had a taste for a roast today. Um, so we purchased the roast and since the time got away from me and it's approximately 2.36 p.m. Um, I really, really want to cook the roast. Um, so I thought about one of my Mother's Day gifts that I got like three years ago and decided that I was going to open it up and do a video on it while I open it. And I will tell you guys, um, honestly, I am a little bit scared. Um, it's a pressure cooker um, and just scared of pressure cookers. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard they can blow up or whatever, whatever. But I've decided I'm going to take it out the box today um, and I'm going to cook this roast. I'm going to turn around. Um, again, I got this three years ago for Mother's Day. And so, so again, I got this about three years ago from my, um, my kids for Mother's Day about three years ago. And I just never took it out the box. Um, I'm just really, really um, afraid of the pressure cooking thing. But I know it's like a big thing. Everybody use, utilizes um, pressure cookers now. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out the box. Read the instructions. I might watch a few videos and then I'm going to put this roast in here and see what happens. And I'm going to take you along on this journey. Again, you guys, I've just been scared of pressure cookers. I always heard they can blow up in your face and all that good stuff. So I'm going to utilize this item and just pray everything goes right. So I'm going to take you along on this journey as I use my Ninja Foodie, the pressure cookers, that crisp. So yeah, let me go ahead and get into this box, you guys. Okay, so I have enlisted my amazing husband to go ahead and open my Mother's Day gift. Again, I got it about three years ago. Um, I'm cooking a roast, and we're trying to get it open here. A little nervous, as I told you in the video. Um, so... We'll see what happens. So this is an unboxing for the Ninja Foodie. And I'm pretty sure there's probably hundreds of thousands of videos on YouTube about this item. But again, it's my first time using it. I've had it, as I told you, about three years from Mother's Day. And I think what I'm going to do while Cam is unboxing it, I'm going to look at some videos. Um, just making sure that I'm well prepared. Because again, I told you guys, I am nervous of pressure cookers. But if it's going to cut... The time in half, it says it saves about 70% of time. Let me help you, baby. All right, I'll move the box. So it says that it cooks food 70% faster. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. It's not that many pieces. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it was going to be way more pieces than this. Works for me. Rinse it out. Yeah. So Cam is going to go over there to the sink and rinse it out. And I think we should probably... Can you dry that off? Why? Um, what if steam gets around it and it blows up or something? <laughs> I, I, I would like you to do that. Okay, okay. Okay, get the paper towels on. Dry it off really well. <laughs> yeah, I ain't taking no chance. This, I think it's really, it's a really pretty um, item. Hey, you guys, you know what, what would be really awesome? If they would make the Ninja Foodie like they do, um, what's that thing? Um, mm, but, you know the thing that you can buy in different colors? The one you got me for Mother's Day one year that, um... I forget the name of it. But anywho, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and like, oh, this is so pretty. I love new toys. This is a new toy for me. Um, it's really pretty. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of this down, do, watch a couple videos, and you guys, I'll be back. Uh, okay, you guys, I am back. I haven't watched the video yet, but I wanted to do a thorough um, unboxing of this item. So um, this is what you get in the box. Um, you get the new, the Ninja Foodie, you get all of your instructions, um, about the item. There may be a cookbook in here. 
Um, this little black item comes in here. I guess it's like uh, for air drying, I would assume, because it's opened at the bottom. Um, you get this little rack here, and then this is the pressure cooker um, lid. So again, you guys, I'm going to go ahead, and this is everything that came inside the box. And now I'm going to go ahead and watch a couple videos so I can get my roast on. Hi, yes. We are going to do the pressure test for the very first time for our Ninja Foodie. Okay, so then we watched the YouTuber by the name of The Salted Pepper. Thank you for your awesome video. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get three cups of tap water. One. Could you not turn it off and on? Just two. And then three. So we're following the salted pepper channel to a T. And she did an amazing job showing you how to do the test, um, the pressure test. Um, after you put the three, <clears throat> the three cups of water in, again, that's just tap water, you're going to take your pressure lid, and this is the pressure lid. And as you can see here on the top, there's a vent and there's a seal. And from what she was saying is this top, if you put it on correctly, it should just drop into place. Um, you may have to maneuver it a little bit, but it should just drop in when it's where it should be. So let's see here. You want to try this? Yes. Okay. So we're going to put this on seal because we're just doing the test. And then turn we're going to turn it on. And then temperature, she said hi. Okay, we're putting it on pressure. Okay, mm -hmm. hi. And then we're going to do two minutes, right? Okay, and then we're going to, what do we do now? Oh, start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. So, when we watch the Salted Peppers channel, um, this took approximately eight minutes for it to complete everything, or a little bit more than eight minutes. So, we're just going to wait and see what happens, and hopefully we'll be able to cook our roast shortly. So... So we're trying to figure out the lid, and I know this is going to be very important. Turn it upside down, and let's see if there's grooves or something in there where we can kind of figure it out. Turn it upside down. You see where the grooves are? There we go. Okay, so Cam got it to lock into place. Um, so this is all done. The next thing the salted pepper said is to put this on seal. Uh -oh, this is. I think you have to lift up and turn. Yeah, I can see the steam. Okay, you guys, so we just heard that noise and the little red button popped up and it's the steam is coming down. So it's doing exactly what it did on the um salted and pepper channel so you see where we're at now and it did take more than two minutes to get up to pressure i want to say maybe four or five minutes so yeah So since I started dinner late, um, I am going to try my, my new machine here. And I'm going to be putting a roast in here. And hopefully it's uh, 3.13 right now. Hopefully by, what, 5.30 we're eating. Hopefully it'll, it only takes about two hours for a roast. Um, if it's less than that, that'll be great. But we'll see what happens. So I'm going to look at a roast video and see um, how everything works with that. But... So it's still kind of ticking down right now. So we are done. So, um, 
Let me go get some oven mitt. Okay, you guys, so our roast has cooked. There's no more lights on. And we kind of waited a little while. I think you need some a towel or something. Okay, but I can still put okay. it on vent. So we're going to go ahead and put it on vent. I told you. <laughs> we're putting it on vent. Did it go? Okay, this thing is... Okay. So. Okay, you guys. So, I moved a little button there to vent. And as you can see, the pressure is kind of going down. Um, I'm going to wait until it goes all the way down before I touch the top. And then I am actually cooking rolls. So I've already pre, this is what I do when I cook my rolls, you guys. So I season my rolls, make sure it's room temperature, pat it dry, put my seasonings on, I put some flour on, and then I kind of fry it with like some um, olive oil and butter. Okay, and then I fry it on the stove really kind of hard on each side. And what happens is it actually makes a gravy as it cooks. So I don't hear any more steam in this ninja foodie. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. Oh, please God, please God. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right. Not bad, not bad. So there's water still in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a tad of beef broth, add my roast in here, and add my uh, green peppers, my onions, and then I'm gonna put it in the pot, and I'm gonna put it on for an hour and 10 minutes is what uh, I saw on another video. Okay, so we're gonna put it on an hour and 20 minutes. So let me get everything in the pot and see how this goes. Uh-uh, I ain't gonna put them in there because I'm gonna mess them up. Okay. You take that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I went ahead and released the steam. I'm going to go ahead and put my roast um, here. I'm going to, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and put my roast in. I don't even know how much liquid is supposed to be in here. And then I have a bunch of veggies that's going in onions and green peppers Ooh. and then I'm gonna put a little seasoning in it I don't know how much liquid supposed to go in here I think you should add a little bit more yeah okay I'm gonna put a little more beef broth in here maybe I should cover it at least um, and, you know so it covers the meat mm -hmm. okay and then I'm gonna put a little more seasoning in here So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add um, a little more accent, just a little. I'm gonna add a little uh, onion powder. I'm gonna add some larvae seasoning salt. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Ooh. And then I'm gonna add a little more water. Just a little more. Just put it in there. Yeah. Okay. Just a little more water and beef. Okay. So. All right. It's going bye bye. Um. So we got to put the lid back on it. Oh, 
what's back here. Oh, hold on, I'll hold it in you do it. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. So we're going to Cameron's gonna go ahead and push all the buttons. It's going on seal. seal. On. Okay, you now slow cook or it's sear. Pressure. pressure. No, we, we already did the pressure. We we do we cook no. it now. No, slow cook means you putting it on like a crock pot. Oh, okay. pressure. Okay, pressure cooking. Uh huh. Okay. Hi. Okay. And then you said putting it on an hour and twenty. So that's ten minutes. Is that four hours? No. Yeah. Hey, you guys. So we finally took the roast out. This is one hour and 20 minute pot roast and I am just in awe. An hour and 20 minutes for a pot roast.